Hello everyone, this is Overmind, and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 replay cast. Today I have for you a PVT from the Platinum League. And spawning on the bottom right side of our map, in blue, is going to be our Protoss player for the evening. From Clan Tau, it is going to be... America! And spawning up at the top left side, in red, our Terran player from Clan HTX, it is going to be... Cheeseburger! Now, I want to go ahead and make a quick note about this game already. Um, I actually picked this game because I really enjoyed the matchup. And not, not PVT, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that this game is America versus Cheeseburger. And as someone who lives in the United States, I can tell you that that is a very poignant commentary on what real life is like here right now. So uh, hopefully you are tickled by that because I certainly am. We see Cheeseburger doing some pretty normal stuff. He's going to build SCVs. Looks like he'll get a refinery sometime soon, since he has an SCV rallied over there. He has his supply depot. He has a barracks. However, America has a different philosophy for this game. You'll note that America is building a proxy gateway. America choosing to strike first and ask questions later. And there is uh, no metaphor in that at all. Wink. In any case, we do have the very popular Proxy 2 gate. This is a normal place to put it because it isn't easily scout by an SCV. And indeed, an SCV does move out to scout. However, America, choosing to throw down a pylon here at the front, likely to prevent this from being a wall-off with, uh, with a nice supply depot there. So that his zealots can run on into the base. However, Cheeseburger should be wise at this point to the fact that there's something going on. Something is not right here. Something is not normal. Sparrows has finished up. Looks like we do have a bunker about to be placed down. The probe almost accidentally blocks it. However, Cheeseburger does begin building with this SCV. Looks like the first unit for Cheeseburger is going to be a Reaper, which is on its way out. However, I don't know if it's going to be here in time. Uh, the Zealots are being chrono boosted out, and it looks like the first one is about to finish. And there goes my life for ire running up the ramp. And it gets in! Now this is a very scary moment for Cheeseburger, the Zealot running around, not really focusing on one target. You see that he switched from one SCV to another, he ran past the barricade, he ran uh, by the bunker. He's going to take some pot shots from that bunker for his indecision. He has a little bit of ADD because America. The Zealots do eventually get into the mineral line, and in fact the SCVs are mostly pulled. The SCVs are going to be used to trap this while the Reaper begins doing some damage, and indeed these uh, these Zealots are kept away from the Reaper, which is going to be very important here, because that is the only real attacking unit for Cheeseburger. We have that Reaper hopping on into the bunker. SCV is doing a very good job of not dying to this, however, being good little contributors to the war effort, keeping out of the way when possible, doing damage when possible, repairing things when possible, and here we have a brilliant move. SCV throws down a supply depot at the front, which is going to prevent additional zealots from getting in the base for a time. Looks like this supply depot might go down, however, Cheeseburger, since he's building that other one, hopefully shouldn't be supply blocked for too long. Looks like we did lose a marine there. However, I believe America is not trading efficiently for this. It is hard to tell because Cheeseburger is losing a lot of mining time here. However, you'll note that America is not building probes when he has a chance. Uh, he's not really teching up to anything. All of this is devoted to this attack. Looks like he's decided to go ahead and throw down an additional pylon just to piss Cheeseburger off, as near as I can tell, because he threw it down in plain sight of the SCVs. SCVs just really need to go ahead and repair the supply depot. Should be able to deal with this cheese no problem. Zealot's just doing a little bit of damage, the unit's getting free pot shots, really needs to repair the supply depot. Uh, oh, oh, and in fact, the Zealots break in once again, getting through this little barricade that was set up, doing a decent amount of damage to the bunker, however, the SCVs, of course, do have that nice repair ability. The Zealots run on in, back to the mineral line, and, uh, choose to go for the command center. The SCVs could probably repair from this side, however, uh, these units go ahead and take out this pylon that was blocking the wall off with SCVs repairing each other and then moving into attack. SCVs going to do a very good job of keeping these zealots away from the main army of Cheeseburger, which at the moment only consists of two marines and a reaper. So we 
do have a trap. I do believe several SCVs were killed off, however, if we look at the units lost tab over here, we see that the units lost were much, much higher for America. So that is sort of unfortunate for him. And here we have the two hero marines and the reaper. Marines selecting kit in the bunker and the reaper heading on out to scout. Uh, back at America's base, I want to go ahead and note that we're just now getting the cyber core down. The assimilators are almost finished. Uh, in the worker and army count, you'll know the army supply is higher for America, but the worker supply is actually just slightly higher for Cheeseburger. And uh, America actually looks like he's going to elect to continue to build zealots uh, for the most part. He's also going to finally start building a probe, or rather queue up way too many probes. Uh, and here the Reaper has arrived in America's base, and there's simply not much he can do about it. There's really just probes here as far as things that can deal with this, and he's just going to go ahead and take pot chops on these probes all day. He's got five kills. Uh, at this point, Cheeseburger does need to micro to make sure that his Reaper stays alive. However, he's pretty much free to run around the base as long as he continues microing. There's not really going to be too much that America can do about it because he has no units here. Over here, it looks like uh, a reactor was being built and uh, got taken out by the additional zealots, and oh, oh, the bunker got so close to being taken out there. Uh, a couple SCV kills, however, zealots don't want to hang out over there, I don't think. Taking lots and lots of damage trying to attack that bunker. Running back into the mineral line, getting a couple kills on the SCVs who did not escape quite quickly enough. And here we have more SCVs doing a good job of not quite dying and protecting the army. Here we have a lot of interrupted time as far as mineral mining and the good stuff like that in our main base for Cheeseburger. Uh, looks like he's going to go ahead and just float this very tired and damaged looking barracks here so that it's not as easy to break through this wall off. He's going to go ahead and build the bunker right at the front because Cheeseburger has been ultra aggressive this game. Cheeseburger uh, is making stalkers. I don't even think... Yeah, he has not started warp gate research yet. He's actually delayed that in favor of making stalkers. Because if you're gonna cheese, you really have to commit to that cheese. You don't want to cheese halfway. It's really important that you don't pull your troops out too early. Um, there's, there's no metaphor there, you guys. It's totally fine. America going to push on up the ramp. It's a bad idea. He backs off. Whew. Oh, America. All right. Uh, we do finally have warp gate research on the way for America. However, you'll note how late it is. It's actually around the 11 minute mark. And even Bronze League players out there are like, my warp gate research is done way earlier. Well, yes, it is because you uh, perhaps are researching warp gate at the appropriate time and not building a proxy to gate. However, this has delayed America a great amount, and I think if this push doesn't work, he's going to be in big trouble. He's going to lose both these gateways, this pylon, he will have lost all of these resources, and really he's going to be in a bad spot. Uh, we do see a single stalker moving out across the map. Looks like he's being sent home. He wasn't fit for duty. These guys are actually just hanging out here. Up in Cheeseburger space, He's actually recovering quite well from all that. He has a tech lab building on this additional barracks. He has a nice factory here. Looks like he's going to build a widow mine with that. And he has a widow mine parked up front. He is turtled in. However, he has lowered his supply depots so that uh, if any units want to run on by those widow mines, they're free to do so. That's totally fine with him. He is just going to do a good job of defending with this widow mine and making sure that his base is secure as much as possible. He actually, he might just be able to hop out of these bunkers and, and kill everything down here. It looks like America's army is finally retreating a good deal late, however, uh, I guess late is better than never since hopefully he won't lose everything here. Cheeseburger looking like he's making noises, like he wants to expand. He does have his army rallying up here. What he doesn't know is that he should be able to take this out pretty easily. And indeed goes straight for the pylon. And America is about to lose what I believe are his only gateways. If you look here, he's just now going to rebuild another gateway. However, it looks like he has been a busy boy. America has not been slack in this. He is supply block now. However, he used that bit of time that he had to go ahead and build an oracle. We had one additional zealot come in here to attack for reasons. Uh, to defend the 
defenseless warp gate, which is now unpowered, I suppose. However, America can't really do too much about the fact that Cheeseburg is, is expanding. America himself has expanded, however, if he doesn't catch up economically and use that push that he did earlier to make that worth it, nah, it's not going to work out. And I think, I think he's too far behind because of that push to really do too much. We do see the Oracle moving in, however, missile turret. Missile turret, missile turret, missile turret. Uh, the Oracle makes it out alive. However, uh, the Oracle can attack any of those SCVs, which is what he really wanted to do. Cheeseburger's army deciding to clean up some of this clutter. There's some plates in the way that someone just left on the floor, and he's not too happy about that. SCV is going to go ahead and build a missile turret over here just to make sure that no more Oracle nonsense happens in this game. And his expansion is almost up. We do see America not setting a rally point for this Nexus, because that's not important. Uh, he does manually tell those probes to get to work, because they are very lazy probes. He's not going to put up with that at all. None of that lazy bullshit going to happen in America. Um, additional pylons, because we are a bit supply blocked at the moment. Do have upgrades researching, which is probably good. Transfers down a few too many probes. You ideally want 16 mining minerals and three in each geyser. However, he's building some additional probes. And it looks like Cheeseburger is uh, fixing to move out across the map. He does seem to be burrowing and unburrowing these widow mines just to make sure, just in case, so that he doesn't get caught off guard. Uh, however, he is perfectly safe to move out across the map. He actually might be able to push on up here and win, which would be quite an excellent thing. Looks like we do have Widow Mines. Burrow. Takes out a Zealot. Takes out a Stalker. Alright, good. Mothership Core is here. Does activate Photon Overcharge, and we have Envision from the Oracle, which will allow the Photon Overcharge to kill off the Widow Mines if they don't retreat, which uh, one of them unfortunately does die. And this Widow Mine elects to burrow just slightly further down the ramp. Now at this point, we have Cheeseburger here, who's actually pretty free to just go ahead and contain America, or at least do little bits of damage. We do see additional units streaming across the map, including Medivacs, which could be quite useful if he chooses to drop up on the high ground, um, or something of that nature. Could just harass America to death. Could do a lot of things in this position, and in fact, Cheeseburger, because he did so well keeping his SCVs alive during that sort of little nonsense cheesiness, and because he's continuing to macro well, he's going to be in a pretty good position, I think. Here we have some emergency contingency cannons that uh, were about to go down, but then did not. We do have a contingency photon cannon in the mineral line of the main base. So if we have an observer heading on out, which is going to be good for detection for those Widow Mines, which are very scary as a Protoss player right now, I can tell you that for certain. Do you have a Reaper up here? A couple Stalkers going to go ahead and take out that Widow Mine. There we go. And that is the correct course of action if you do have a Widow Mine infestation. Just go ahead and park a couple Stalkers out there. Go ahead and have your observer running around. And here we have Cheeseburger all grouped up. And now all loaded up. Uh, unloading though. Changed his mind. Does not like that. Does not want to be in the flying heel buses. Wants to go ahead and push up the ramp. His Hellion is going to get there a bit earlier than the rest of his army. Picks off a zealot. And now he loads up. Now he's decided the photon overcharge has been forced in the lower base. And he can simply boost on up. And here we are. Probably, probably a better idea to just go ahead and go for the probes. Uh, generally speaking, that's usually what you want to do. However, since he is going to go ahead and focus down some of these buildings, that is going to be a big problem for America. Oh, I hope he gets the Robo Bay. Oh, and he does. He loads up. This is a scary moment since there is a photon overcharge at the top as well. However, he is able to move out of there with, uh, with relatively no problems. Heals up over here. You can see the army that America has amassed here. Mostly stalkers, several uh, several sentries, which should be able to force field quite effectively. And now America has to do this annoying thing where he has to choose whether he wants to be at the top of the ramp or the bottom. It's like he does elect for the top. This is going to give Cheeseburger the chance to simply run into the mineral line and do some damage, which indeed he does. Kills a couple of oracles, lots of force fields going down, splitting up the army. 
and Cheeseburger has to retreat. Whew. Oh my. Alright. Mothership Corps got dangerously low there, too. That was a very scary moment for America. However, I want to note, back at home, we have an additional command center building for Cheeseburger. We have this base pretty well saturated. Not enough workers quite in these gases. He wants to definitely go ahead and pop some over in there, but he has lots of SCVs that he's built. And uh, really not looking in such bad shape. Looking like he's thinking about taking a third and uh, has a bunch of additional barracks. Uh, a starport building Vikings. Good stuff going for Cheeseburger. Do you have probes over here? And uh, I think in the worker count, it's actually, it's still pretty close in the worker count. America's slightly ahead, but only very slightly. And the army supply for Cheeseburger is just swelling because he doesn't have to catch up after his early cheese. So that's going to be too bad. We do see the Robo Bay, the Colossus Den, it has been rebuilt. So that's going to be very advantageous for him if he can get a few of those out. Since he is facing a bio army, America also electing to expand, which is probably the correct choice at this point. He wants to make sure that he can go ahead and have that economy. However, I, I imagine this would be pretty easy to spot, especially since we do see Cheeseburger's army moving on out moving across the map. We do have this nice uh, observer here, however, he probably wants to be actually over by this ramp here, because that's generally where the pathing is for these armies. And in fact, I don't know that that observer really saw anything, so that's sort of poor positioning and kind of too bad for America. A single brave marine is going to move out and uh, sees exactly what's going on in this army. Gets a nice scan, just to go ahead and confirm what he knows this army can go ahead and move in. The Mothership Corps goes down. Several of the sentries go down. That's actually really painful because that's so much gas. And uh, Cheeseburger winds up so sort of blocking America from actually defending his own base, which in fact the third does fall here. He uh, threw down several force fields and could not get out, so that's quite a problem for him. Where he does lose all of this stuff that he just built. And that's actually really bad because he didn't get any utility out of it at all. He essentially just spent money and then lost it all. You have a whole bunch of cannons here, so we do see the drop. And... Looks like the cannons are getting taken out. Uh, the Vikings at this point might actually consider landing just to do that damage. Oh no, there's a Colossus there that they can go ahead and uh, focus their efforts on. And this army stims and just waltzes right on through here. Colossus going down. America without the GG simply quits out of the game, and Cheeseburger uh, is victorious, which is which is a lot of what we see again in the real America right now. So lots of lots of rife metaphors in this game, lots of good gameplay, lots of good defense of some early cheese, and not from the player with cheese in his name. That is uh, that is actually going to be America who did all of our cheesing for this game. So thank you so much for both of our players, uh, to both of our players, rather, for being in this game. Thank you so much for uh, submitting to us, Cheeseburger. You are awesome. And uh, for those of you who have a game that you would like to see cast, who enjoyed my cast, go ahead and send those games to noobcrafted at gmail.com, and I will be more than happy to put your games up on uh, YouTube and cast them for you. So that's very good. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good night.